praxis. Now, do you remember earlier in the series when I was saying that there it was going to be this time we were going to get to where it would be like a series of a month or a couple of weeks where suddenly all these different projects were going to start finishing because, you know, they've been put up to like 90% done, 95% done, 98% done, and then suddenly everything was going to start happening? Yeah, we're entering that period right now and it's a really, really good feeling. This whole area around you is really starting to open up. We used to have the oven here in its box. It's been uh, taken out and installed. That is in place right now. The wood stove behind you is now functional. It's working. My dad's here on site. He's helping to uh, kind of button up the last of the electrical stuff. Amber's on site uh, here too. Let's go outside and we're going to see what she's doing. But on the way, I wanted to stop and show you another project that is finishing up. And that is, well actually it's finished, it's done. Uh, the radon uh, vent uh, up over here. Uh, if you recall, uh, radon gets sucked out from under the door, a couple feet down below the gravel over here, goes up through the uh, vent over there, uh, the fan over here, and it's getting shot out the back wall, uh, uh, you know, to, to you know, clear the slab underneath. We do have an outlet that is going to be installed right next to it, so it can plug in right there. That is not done yet, uh, so we just have an extension cord running it. I reset the radon detector, and I'm going to let that run for a couple of days, let this run for a couple of days, and, you know, drum roll please, let's hope that, you know, we have some uh, impressive and uh, satisfactory results on the other side of that. This is one of those projects where you put in a bunch of work and you kind of cross your fingers and hope that it works. I'm crossing my fingers, I'm hoping that it works. All right, just outside here, we've got Amber, who's actually walking away right now. Uh, she is uh, prepping more boards. She is uh, stacking them over in that area, working on them over here. And now that everything is pretty much done, I'm just starting to go across the front of the house. This should finish with just, you know, just a few days. If this is what I'm focusing on, we should be able to get the front of this house done. And it's good because while the weather, again, is really, really nice today, we're not guaranteed to have that many more of these. Let's continue going on because, like I said, there's just so many different things that are finishing at this point. Uh, coming by the uh, front of the house here, you can see this wall is all completed and there's beautiful, beautiful uh, greenhouse panels. All right, uh, this is what's left of the, the wood that we have. Amber's grabbing from that stack right there and uh, there's kind of a challenge. Uh, Amber, do you want to comment on the challenge? Huh? Do you want to comment on the challenge of uh, going through these boards? Like, what's the big deal? Uh, I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? I have my music on. There's some sort of an issue with the uh, boards that Amber's been pulling off. What is the big issue? Like, why do we have the stack over there? Uh, a lot of the boards are messed up and some of them it's mouse shit. There's mouse shit all over and <laughs> mouse piss all over the boards. Uh, before winter, we got to open those all up and kind of get them stacked so that mice can't get into the pile. But, you know, at the moment, they still can. What I, the last thing I want to show you is right behind you. Uh, it is this pile of cardboard boxes. Uh, this is not just like our own homemade DIY dump. There's a, a, a method and a, to, to the madness you see going on here. This is actually a, a critical uh, sort of activity going on. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to cover up the well line. Well head is way over there and it's a long run underneath these logs up through here and over to where it goes into the uh, basement over there. I am not convinced that they actually buried it four feet underneath the earth. And even if they had buried it four feet under the earth, I would love to get a little bit more earth on top of that. So any of this cardboard material, just uh, brown cardboard boxes, sticks, leaves, whatever, we're just throwing everything that we can in this and trying to just get a nice uh, blanket on top of this so that we don't have a well line freeze in the middle of the winter. That would be really awful. I used to live in a trailer. The well line froze up on that and it was awful because once it freezes up, you know, if it's a line this long and it's underground, to some degree you're waiting until winter unless you're gonna go through some extreme measures. So we're piling as much stuff on here as we can to try to avoid that happening. That's it, thanks for watching.